Hello everyone, uh, welcome to part two of the Crusader file manager for KDE Plasma. Um, part one series I did uh, the other day and now this is part two. This is your host Data Pioneer and uh, this is the Linux Unix tech channel. And today we're going to get into uh, why I think you should use the Crusader file manager for KDE Plasma over any other file manager available in Linux. And so we'll be right back right after this. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive right into part two of the series on the Crusader File Manager. And in part two, uh, one of the first things I want to do is I want to talk about why it is I feel that you should be using the Crusader File Manager as opposed to just any other file manager in Linux, uh, for instance, Dolphin or Nemo or PCMan FM. And so I'm going to give you my reasons for why I think you should be using the Crusader File Manager. First reason I want to give you is the fact that Crusader has a two-pane view for local and remote files. Uh, you'll see that when we get into looking at Crusader in depth, uh, you'll notice that in the one view, one window look or view, you have two panes on the left, one on the left, one on the right. And you can have the same uh, system on the left and the right. In other words, the local system uh, on your computer, your Linux platform both displayed on the left and right, and you could have different uh, directory structures uh, for both of those. Or you can have, for instance, in the left pane, your local system, and in the right pane, a remote file system, for instance, a personal cloud, for instance, or a single board computer, Raspberry Pi uh, directory structure. And the reason that that's important is that you can then, in one window view, you can upload and download files to and from those structures using a drag and drop method and feature built into Crusader File Manager and we'll take a look at that when we get into more in-depth look at Crusader. So that's my reason number one. Reason number two is uh, Crusader File Manager has something called directory synchronization and when you're looking at directories on the left pane and the right pane, uh, be it whether they're the same um, uh, file system or a different file system, uh, local and remote, you can synchronize directories uh, using feature built into Crusader File Manager in that one window view, uh, which is not something you can do in other file managers, for instance, Nemo or um, Dolphin. So that's my number two reason, directory synchronization. The number three reason is directory comparison. So with a local and remote on the left and right pane, for instance, in the Crusader File Manager, uh, you can actually compare two different directories or two directories to see how they differ. Uh, and uh, in doing that, doing that, you can then synchronize those two directories after you've looked at how they're different. Um, and so directory comparison is a feature built into Crusader File Manager, and it's an important one. Uh, and it gives you that capability that others do not give you. So that's my number three reason. My number four reason is that Crusader File Manager has a fast and effective keyboard-only navigation. Now, Crusader's been around for a long time. Uh, it does have that Unix-like operating system look and feel. Uh, and so Crusader gives you the capability of using keyboard shortcuts for navigating about the file systems. Uh, rather than having to rely on a mouse. And so we'll look at that, and that's my number four reason. It has a fast and effective keyboard-only navigation. The fifth reason is that uh, Crusader is has flexible display of command results. And so when you uh, uh, are in the Crusader File Manager, you can actually look at the command prompt from within that window, and it gives you a fast uh, display and a flexible display of those command results in Crusader itself. And that's not something you have in other file managers either. And so that's my number five reason. My number six reason is 
that the Crusader File Manager has integrated display of command prompt window. And so it does show you the command prompt um, integrated into Crusader. Uh, as I mentioned in step number five, or number region number five, it displays command results from the command prompt window. And so my number six reason is that it has an integrated display of command prompt. And we'll take a look at that as one of the features built into Crusader as well. My number seven reason is flexible save searches. Uh, you can search for files uh, and folders in Crusader File Manager and you have flexibility in the way that you save the searches in the virtual searches that Crusader File Manager provides. And we'll take a look at that as one of the reasons as well. My reason number eight is independent profiles. And so you have the ability in Crusader to have independent profiles uh, for the things that you do in the file manager. That's not something you have available to you in um, either PC Man FM or Dolphin or uh, any other file manager that you might be using. Another reason is user customizations. And so in Crusader File Manager, you have user customizations that you can take advantage of. And we'll take a look at those as we get deeper into Crusader uh, in subsequent videos. And last but not least, uh, Crusader is, has feature-filled uh, capabilities. It is feature-rich uh, file manager and uh, Others are limited, Dolphin and uh, uh, PC Man FM and others uh, are limited to some degree, but Crusader, one of the things it has that I like about Crusader is that it's feature rich. So it's feature rich or feature filled, and we'll take a look at uh, those. And so I'm gonna keep these videos uh, down to about 10 minutes each. And so we'll take a look at a couple of those uh, on my list here. Uh, in part two, and then we'll move into other parts of the video series. I, I don't want to make these videos very long. Uh, I don't think that that uh, is good for watching videos or viewing those. If they get too long, uh, people lose interest. And so we'll keep them around under 10 minutes. Um, and so that's my goal anyway. And we'll take a look at that as we move forward. So let's get into... The first number one reason to pay in view of local and remote files in this series and subsequent series.